Bonsoir, coach. Bonsoir. Et, et bienvenue. Euh, je pense que aujourd'hui, au-delà de la détermination de, de cette équipe, euh, on connaît aussi euh, le mental. Tout ça a joué en faveur de votre équipe. D'abord, félicitations. Euh, qu -ce, sont, euh, euh, que, quelle, quelle est la réaction déjà euh, euh, sachant qu'aujourd'hui, on était face à un public qui était très, très engagé, un public euh, rwandais qui était très, très engagé. Et qu'est-ce que vous avez dit à vos joueurs à l'entame de ce match Merci, bonsoir à tout le monde. Euh... Bonsoir à tout le monde, merci. Merci à tous. Tout d'abord, je, euh, je voudrais remercier ce chaleureux public rwandais. Je ne savais pas qu'il allait faire si chaud. Euh, dans cette arène, mais euh, je pense que nous avons apprécié. Nous avons apprécié le soutien, nous avons apprécié les chants du public, mais on n'avait qu'un seul objectif, et notre objectif c'était de passer en demi-finale. Qu'est-ce qui a fait Quel discours j'ai tenu Je veux dire simplement, hier c'était la fête nationale du Cameroun, et c'était le cinquantenaire de l'unité nationale du Cameroun. On se devait d'offrir un petit cadeau à ce peuple magnifique qui nous supporte. Ce peuple qui est admiratif du Rwanda également. Donc, euh, le discours a été le même du président au coach que je suis, ainsi qu'au capitaine. Il fallait offrir une victoire. Ça a été, c'était dur. On savait que ça allait être dur, mais bon, à la fin, on est qualifié. C'est l'essentiel. What is the ambiance in, 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 the, in the locker room uh, after this game? And uh, were you confident about uh, uh, the victory of Cameroon? And what is the ambition of the FAP team in the next round of this competition? Yeah, um, obviously the locker room is very excited right now. It's an exciting game. You know, came down to the wire, we were able to pull it out. So we're all very happy and we're happy where we are. As far as our ambitions, man, we're trying to win a championship. And I think we're one step closer. As we got the win tonight, it was tough, but we got it done. And I think this means a lot to Cameroon. You know, we work hard. We work hard every day the last three months. A lot of people didn't have faith in us, but we had faith in ourselves. We were confident we could come in and take it to Ray and give us our best shot. And that's what we did. And unfortunately, we came out to win today. Good. Questions? Leonard Solms from ESPN. Uh, Coach Francois, uh, to be honest with you, this team does not look like the same team that lost to the Cape Town Tigers. Um, what, what do you think really the, the main fundamental differences are between that team that showed up that night and this team that showed up tonight? Tout d'abord, euh, je voudrais dire, euh, la défaite contre euh, les Tigers du Cap Town nous a donné une leçon. C'était une leçon et on a beaucoup appris. C'était une défaite qu'on a eu du mal à digérer. Mais bon, l'essentiel est sauf dans le basketball, on en apprend tous les jours. <coughs> Au niveau de notre stratégie défensive, il est simple. Hein. Au-delà de, du mental que le modérateur a dit, on travaille beaucoup sur le placement et sur l'énergie positive que do chacun doit donner. Et ce sont les fondamentaux de base de bas du basket. Ce n'est pas compliqué. Mais simplement, on doit apprendre à défendre en groupe avec toute la volonté. Parce que si vous voyez bien, nous sommes la seule équipe à n'avoir pas encaissé 80 points depuis le début de, des éliminatoires même de la balle, c'est-à-dire les préliminaires, jusqu'à aujourd'hui, même face aux Amalek, face aux Petro. On est resté toujours, on les maintient à moins de 80 points. Donc c'est un travail acharné. Je pense que pour une équipe qui a des ambitions, c'est d'abord la défense qui est l'essentiel. C'est ce que mes mentors m'ont appris quand, dans le coaching. Et c'est ce qu'on essaye d'inculquer aux joueurs. Parce qu'on a beaucoup d'étrangers également qui n'avaient pas la culture défensive. Donc on a travaillé dessus. Et puis quand la mayonnaise prend, on est heureux. Donc c'est tout ce que je peux dire de ce côté. Question euh, je m'appelle Assoum Tamteshiman, je travaille pour TV1 et Lady One. Euh, coach, euh, vous étiez la quatrième dans le groupe des, qui, qui ont joué en conférence du Nil. Euh, 
D'abord, vous pensiez que ça sera difficile, euh, facile de gagner contre l'Oleg, qui a été le premier dans le groupe qui a joué au, au, aux conférences du Dakar. Et maintenant que vous avez gagné, qu'est-ce qui a rendu votre travail un tout petit peu facile pour gagner contre l'Oleg Merci. Euh, vous savez, notre objectif premier était de nous qualifier pour les playoffs, peu importe le classement. Ça a été obtenu au Caire, dans la douleur. Quatrième, ça ne veut rien dire. Ça ne veut rien dire pour nous parce que nous pensons que s'il fallait choisir les adversaires, on était mieux lotis pour cela. C'était soit avoir le slack qui était euh, quatrième de l'autre côté, soit on sortait premier de la conférence du Nil, soit on sortait quatrième pour essayer d'avoir le Rwanda Energy Group. Parce qu'après avoir euh, scouté leur match, on a senti un groupe très solide. Mais un groupe jouable, un groupe prenable. Et on a travaillé sur la pression du public, sur la pression de la super population de, de Kigali, qu'on savait être assez nombreuse au cours de cette rencontre. Et nous avons mis l'accent vraiment sur le mental de nos jeunes. Depuis notre arrivée, c'était améliorer nos ad notre adresse, Jouer collectivement et surtout défendre. Donc je pense qu'aujourd'hui, défensivement, on a encore prouvé que ces jeunes-là avaient beaucoup de qualité. Et je pense que ce qui a fait la différence aujourd'hui, c'est que quand on voit la fiche statistique, vous avez le numéro 5 qui a 23 points. Les autres en sont où Cleveland. Cleveland. On savait qu'il était capable de marquer 30 points, mais il fallait limiter les autres. Et c'est ce qui s'est passé. Donc on a joué sur cette fébrilité de, du Rwanda Energy. Et puis, euh, vous savez, toutes les équipes se sont renforcées. Et souvent, les renforts qui arrivent dans une équipe comme ça, ce n'est pas toujours positif. On savait que ça allait se jouer également à ce niveau. Et puis, nous, nous avons plus mis l'accent sur les anciens qui ont pris part à la conférence du Nil. Et c'est eux qui ont fait la différence. Merci, bonsoir euh, Coach et Byers. Bonsoir, ciao c'est Bounessia TV, félicitations. Euh, J'espère qu'à Yaoundé aujourd'hui, tout le monde est très content. Euh, un jour après la fête nationale. Euh, coach, dis-moi, euh, comment vous avez réussi à maintenir dans vos têtes l'esprit de gagner parce que le match était vraiment serré. Et pour Byers, um, uh, what do you think you need to do um, best to win uh, Pedro Atletico who are quite aggressive and uh, very determined to? I think the first order of business is we're going to have to play defense. Everything starts on the defensive end and that's what FAP is known for. That's what we pride ourselves on. Defense. Defense, rebounds and smart decisions. You know, I think we have to limit turnovers and make smart decisions. Rebound and we have to play defense. We have to set the tone on defense. FAP That's what FAP does. Patriots going to come out very aggressive. We know who they got, who they are. We know who they have. We know what they like to run. So they're going to come out aggressive. They're going to come out firing. We got to match the energy. We have to be positive. We have to bring the same tone, to make the same statement, and we have to send a message to them. So we have to continue to be, and that's going to start all on defense. Defense is where all this is going to start from. So if we play defense, then I think we can, you know, take it to Pedro and we can keep it close. The, even, and we could even win the game, but... You know, I think it all starts on defense. We got to have defense to win this game. Okay. Piaz has mentioned defense 12 times. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got the message. Ah, defense, <laughs> defense, hey, defense, defense. Ça, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good. Non, non, non. Je voudrais dire simplement, euh, nous sommes d'abord une équipe des forces armées et police. Et euh, nous représentons les forces de défense et de sécurité du Cameroun. Nous avons un esprit de gagneur, quelles que soient les circonstances. Même si nous perdons, nous apprenons de nos erreurs. Et je pense que la chance d'avoir un président proche de nous, parce qu'il était sur le banc avec nous, en train de nous encourager de dire les mots qu'il faut, je pense que c'est au-delà de tout. Ça nous pousse à ne pas nous occuper de tout ce qui avait comme bruit. Et 
Je pense que si on est arrivé à ce résultat-là, c'est cette cohésion-là, cet accompagnement que nous avons eu de notre président, le colonel Jackson, qui nous a accompagnés au Nil, qui nous a accompagnés également ici, et qui continue de maintenir cette équipe-là dans cet esprit positif. Euh, on ne pense que gagner depuis notre arrivée. On a eu la chance de partager le même hôtel que nos adversaires. On se retrouvait pour des petits déjeuners, déjeuners et dîners. Mais on avait toujours cette énergie-là, cette énergie positive, cette sérénité. Du premier jour jusqu'à avant le match. Donc, c'est, je peux dire simplement que c'est une culture, au-delà de la défense, au-delà de tactique, au-delà des stratégies, mais la culture de la gagne. Euh, le Cameroun sait le faire. Et aujourd'hui également, les forces armées et police l'ont démontré. Thank you very much, Bias. Thank you very much, Coach. Congratulations once again. Merci. And see you on Wednesday, May 25th. That will be Africa Day here at the Kigali Arena against Petro de Luanda. Thank you. Thank you. Merci, merci à tous. Merci, merci. Good evening, uh, friends of the press. We're going to continue our post-game press conference. This time around, we have... Uh, coach uh, Robert Park Jr. from the Rwanda Energy Group. Just a reminder of the final score of tonight's game. Um, Rwanda Energy Group 63, Force Army Police Basketball um, 66 points. Uh, coach Park, um, it all went down to the wire this evening at the Kigali Arena. Terrific ambience, the energy, the motivation from the home crowd. That was really um, a wonderful setting, you know. It's the first time we were seeing that at the at the Basketball Africa League, the arena was filled right up to the rafters, but we did not have that very important win from Rwanda Energy Group. What's your appreciation of the situation this, this evening, Coach? Well, the, the, the crowd gave us ex exactly what we, we expected, we were looking for, um, that energy to, for us to build off. We just, um, unfortunately, we picked you know, one of the worst nights to to not really play our best basketball. And, and it happens, you know, it's unfortunate in a situation like this when it's single elimination, um, it's no tomorrow. Um, but you have games like this and it's, it's tough. There's a lot of young guys in the locker room that this is going to be a great experience for them. They'll learn from it um, and they'll, they'll realize how, you know, important, you know, being able to pull games out like this, tough games out like this in, in these type of situations. Coach, I don't want to steal the show from the uh, media friends who are here tonight, but you just talked about the locker room. Before I turn it over to our friends of the of the press, what's the ambience coming from the locker room and with your experience from, from the NBA? What have you told these young kids, especially coming from these very difficult defeats? Well, they are, they are hurt. They're disappointed. And, and, and I told them, if they were in there laughing, I would be disappointed in them. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it hurts because you, you care and you're competitors and, and you want to win. Mm -hmm. And, and I, they expected the locker room to be exactly like that, but I told them how proud of, of them I was and how far we've come. We, we, we worked really hard. We, we gave every night out. We played hard. I can never, you know, I was never disappointed leaving um, a locker room about our effort. And we, we, we played hard. We could sh not shoot the ball some nights. Um, you, you know, you turn the ball over, but our effort was there every night. And I, I told them just how proud of them, they, how proud of them I was, and how they're going to grow from it. It's a lot of young players in, in that locker room that I think is, is going to have really good careers, and they'll, they'll be able to build off this and, 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 and get better and be better from it. Questions? Uh, thank you. All right. My name is Asom Tamsheshima, I work for TV1 and Radio 1. Uh, Coach Robert, uh, the audience and all London basketball lovers will, will like proud to see leg in quarterfinals of BAL. Mm -hmm. um, for you and, you and your team, you made some changes in the group who were in Dakar. So today, you lose the game. Mm -hmm. Are you satisfied with the, the performance of the new players you brought in the team and the whole team. Thank you. Oh, I would say I'm, I'm satisfied in, in the effort, but obviously you want players to play better. Um, none of those players that, that we brought in went out and, and not you know, give their best. Um, it just wasn't a, um, a, a good night for us overall as, as a whole. Um, that we, we didn't we didn't play well as, as, a, as a team, um, but we give them a lot of credit. They came out and played hard and jumped on us um, and and 
you know, and played and executed. We didn't we didn't do a good job of executing and and, and just converting converting some 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 easy looks, turning the ball over. I mean, we talked about that. We talked about that going in that this was the things that they wanted to do. They played well off of turnovers. They they go after offensive rebounds, and they, they we allowed them to get the things that we, they really needed to to be able to um to execute. And that that was just um just a very tough night for us. Hey, hello, coach. Uh, it's Nicasius from Tanzania, Klaus Media. Uh, with th with three, probably two minutes to go, uh, you were down two, but uh, your uh, reg kept on taking threes rather than going to the basket. What did uh, the play which you drew for them? Because uh, f for most people thought it could have been easy to go for a tie if they, they, ch they had chosen to go for a two rather than because they shot like six straight threes and oh we missed you, you're absolutely right and that was not we, we, we talked about getting to the basket we, we didn't we didn't have to li live off threes we talked about it in a huddle and it just one of those those situations where threes kept presenting themselves and it was it was it was tempting you know you had the ball falling in the hands of good three-point shooters and they kept taking wide open looks and it just wasn't our night I, I, we talked about going to the basket you know putting it on the ground getting to the basket try to you know get to the foul line foul in these, these situations was just as good as a made basket. So um, it, it's just, you know, it comes down to sometimes in these situations where the, the, the little things matter and, and being able to execute and, and, and take things from the, from the huddle to, to the court. And unfortunately in that situation, um, those threes kept presenting themselves and, and we, we kept taking them, but that, it, it, it wasn't necessary. Thank you. My name is Isaac Rabin. I work for Sangostan TV radio. Uh, my question goes to Kravaland. Uh, I would like um, to ask this. Uh, on the score sheet, it's like 50 rebounds of uh, reg, but uh, 12 of them is uh, offensive. It means it's, it's a poor result for offensive uh, rebounds. Uh, what went wrong for you uh, as a players? Thank you. Uh, I just think uh, we didn't we didn't attack the glass like we should have. We didn't we didn't get a body on guys. Um, one of the main points that coach is making in practice is that we, you know we got to find a body and box out first, then go for the rebound. And I feel like we, we didn't translate that from practice, practice and executing the game. And, and the, the stat sheet reflects it. My name is Eddie Simona from the New Times. Um, my question goes to Crayfront. Uh, the team was uh, the team's performance was very impressive in Dakar, uh, but we need to know what you lacked here before thousands of fans that you you had before almost zero fans in Senegal. What what exactly uh, did you did you lack before your fans? Thank you. Uh, I think on the court, uh, I think we, not to make excuses, but I think we really missed uh, our starting point guard, Adonis Fowler. Uh, he really controlled the game for us uh, in the car. Um, we didn't really have him healthy tonight, and I feel like that, that hurt us because he's, he's a leader on the floor, and he's one of the guys that can control the game and uh, help us execute on the offensive end. A uh, question for Coach Park. I mean, um, your team meets, missed so many shots that they normally make. Uh, when I look at turnovers, 25 is quite a lot. Uh, what was the reason behind, you know, this disparity? I mean, this uh, kind of sloppy uh, place, if, if I may. Uh, and also, was it pressure? And my second question is, I mean, we look at today's results in the BAL, and both teams that played in Dakar out of the competition, do you think that the time frame affect both teams throughout this process? Well, we don't put any excuses on on the time frame. We we had time to get good work in. Um, we 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 actually we worked on a few things, uh, a lot of things. We had the time to do that. But tonight, it, they 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 pressed up, 
and I, I think you know we, we didn't handle the pressure in, in some situations well. I think we, we didn't we didn't make the simple plays sometimes where we had the, the, the pass was right in front of us trying to make cross court p passes or uh, things that wasn't necessary. We talked about making a simple play. We, it was like we, we can push, get out in transition, make make the easy reads. And I think you know a, a combination of them putting pressure on us when not handling it well, and us really just not executing. You know, uh, turned into those, those turnovers and, and took opportunities away from us. You know, when you have 25 turnovers, you look at it as 25 shot up uh, attempts that you didn't you didn't get. So. Um, th this is a tough night when you're having tough shooting night. You know you need as many opportunities at the basket as you can. Maybe to, to get to the basket, get a foul. If you turn it over, you don't get a chance to shoot. So it was, it was a tough night overall uh, in the shooting area. Which those shots, again, as a coach, the shots and the players to whose hands that it was falling in, it's tough to really, you know, be upset because those guys can make make those shots. It was just one of those nights where we we needed to put it on the floor and maybe try some something different, and, and, and we we got away from that. But overall, it, it was just a tough night on both ends, turnovers as well as um, not really shooting the ball well. Mm -hmm. um, you obviously spent probably as much time as anyone in the, in the presence of greatness in basketball. But was there anything that you learned from this tournament about being a head coach? No, ab absolutely. Uh, this, this was a great experience for me. I'm, I'm, I'm so um, glad I, I, I didn't talk myself out of coming coming here. Um, as a, a person who's a, a coach that's been around a long time as an assistant coach, you've you've worked on things. You've, you've taken your notes and thinking about when you, you get your opportunity. And for my first opportunity to be a head coach, I wouldn't have, I, I wouldn't turn this group in for, for any other group because they, they gave me everything as a coach. Things we worked on, they, they, they bought into them, they tried to do it, they gave me their all every night. And as a coach, no matter where I am, that's what you, you would want from whatever the talent level you have, you would want your players to give you that. And, and I think it was a great experience, and I'm just glad I, you know, I took this opportunity. Thank you. Uh, my name is Banas. I'm pleased working for Radio uh, 10. In this very own room yesterday, your, your team captain said that you don't want to be remembered as uh, the hosts. You want to be remembered as the champions. Unfortunately, I think after this game, you are going to be remembered as the hosts. Mm -hmm. What did it went? What did went wrong in this match? How this tiny match uh, uh, get out of your hands? <laughs> and also, uh, I saw your your team being so sloppy defensively. Do you think it was a wise decision to lift Pichumanga out of your rooster? Well, no, no match is, is a, a little bitty match. That's what you, your first thing you got to realize, that every team, I've talked about this before, how, how this was a good team, that we was going to have to be prepared and, and, and really give our, give our best to beat them. And tonight we, did, we didn't play our best, and they, they played a, a good game. We still had, had our chances. Um, first, the Pichu um, question. I know everybody will, will talk about that, but it, it, was, a, it, was, a, it was a it was a group decision, um, and, and and we we, we brought someone. We thought the change needed to be made, and, and obviously it didn't. You know, it didn't turn in, into to a win. But you, you can't second guess now. It's that it's moved past. Once we made the decision, we worked worked out our tails off to, to be prepared for tonight. It just didn't work out in our favor. Um, but again, I'm proud of these guys and all the effort they gave us from day one to today. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Coach. Thank you very much. Thank you.